everyone, I'm Christina Marie. This is Christmas Creations. Um, if you're not already, please subscribe, like, share, comment below. It feels so good to be back. It feels like I have been gone for eternity. <laughs> so where have I been? What have I been doing? Going crazy slowly. Not really, but kind of. So, where did I leave off? and my story of life. So I came where I was supposed to be, with who I was supposed to be with, after really thinking that through the power of yoga, which I will go into in another video, another series of videos actually, and I don't mean yoga poses and yoga mats, I mean actual yoga. Everything should have been perfect. But the universe doesn't work that way, does it? Your twin is your mirror. And sometimes we think that we have solved a problem or we have worked out a emotional issue until it's brought up to us again. It's like a repressed memory stored in our subconscious. You don't think about it at the time, but sometimes it interferes with all the good stuff. And for the past few months, it has been getting rid of all bad stuff. <clears throat> but it's not necessarily bad, because there's beauty in destruction, and there's beauty in understanding. And once the two of you surrender to the fact that you are what you are, and nothing else matters. There's nothing you can't work through. So, what to do so it doesn't go wrong? First off, <clears throat> don't be me and try to run every time something goes bad because it's so intense. Because you feel this energy. You feel it. Every time they're upset, every time they're sad, it's like a stab or a fire in your solar plexus. Like, it, it, it hurts. When you're sitting there sharing stories of why each of you did what you did at the time, like I have been for the past few months, it gets really intense. You are watching your life through somebody else's eyes. Your twin's eyes. And everything that you thought you thought you knew at the time was wrong. And sometimes that can become very intense. It can become very frustrating. It can become impossible to deal with if you're not willing to. Because neither one of you want to hurt one another. But all that needs to be brought up so you can go forward. So you can continue to grow as a unit, as a whole. But for some of us, a lot of those emotional wounds aren't so much because they feel on ourselves. It's the fact we realize how much we hurt our twin and didn't mean to. And that's what we're running from. I've never really been a runner. I've always been the, the chaser. So for me to sit there for two years manifesting in my mind being exactly where I am right this very minute to ever want to run is kind of nonsense if you stop and you think about it. <laughs> but why do we do it? We do it because of doubt. And doubt is the number one killer of any relationship, let alone the twin flame dirty. You see, when you doubt your twin, you doubt yourself. And you can't, you have to have faith 100% in each other, your teams, your one, your whole, your unit. It's all about unity. And yeah, that has its ups and its downs, just like any relationship. 